All right then, so now we have multiple pages in our application and we also have this navbar component right here with these future links. So how about we hook up these links so that if we click on one of them, it directs us to the correct page components. Now, the way we do this in Next Applications is by using a special component called the Link Component. Now, the Link Component adds the ability to do client-side navigation in the browser, meaning that different pages are loaded in via JavaScript and not new HTML page requests to the server. So it results in a much quicker website experience when going between pages. So the first thing we need to do is import the Link Component from Next. So to do that, come to the top of the file and say import link, capital L, from, and then it's from next forward slash link. So all we need to do is surround the anchor tags with this link component like this. So I'm going to take the closing link component and place it over here like so. And then I'm actually going to do the same thing for each one of these links. So let me paste that in here and at the bottom and then take the closing link tags and place them at the end. So we'll grab this final one as well and place it here. So that's the first step. The second step is just to add in the href attribute or prop in this case to the link tag. So whereas before in normal HTML, we might add that to the anchor tag. This time we add it to the link component and inside the link component, we have an empty anchor tag surrounding the text. Okay. So this href is just going to be forward slash the href for the about page is going to be forward slash about and then the href for the ninja listing is going to be forward slash ninjas like so. Okay, so let me now test this out and if I click on this, we see all ninjas. I have to go back though because we don't have the nav bar on this page component. If I go to about, we see this page and if I click on this, it stays on the home page. So now those links are working and it's all done in the browser. So then we've added links here. I also want to add in a link on the home page, which is going to link to the Ninja list page as well. So to do that above the footer, I'm going to do another anchor tag at the bottom, but surrounding this anchor tag needs to be the link component. And again, we have to import that at the top over here. So import link from next forward slash link like so. All right then, so inside the link, I'll do an anchor tag like so, and we don't need the href here, so let's get rid of that. And inside that, I will just say C ninja listing, and then this href on the link itself is gonna go to forward slash ninjas. So remember, that's this component right here. Now, if I go to the homepage again, I'm gonna refresh and we can see this link at the bottom, see Ninja listing. If I click on that, it goes to forward slash ninjas. Now, another thing I want to show you in this video is a thing called code splitting. So by default, Next automatically code splits our application so that only the JavaScript code that's needed for the current page is served from the server. And only when we navigate to another page will it serve the JavaScript for that page. Now we can see this in action by going to the network tab in the dev tools. So let me go to network and let me refresh over here and then I'm going to clear all of this out to begin with. Okay. So now if I go to a different page like about notice over here, we get about.js. So that's the JavaScript bundle that controls the page for about. Okay. So it only serves that after we go to the about page. So it code splits. And that means initially we only served the JavaScript code that we need for the initial request. And when we navigate around, we get served the JavaScript for that page. Now, if we go to that page again, it doesn't reserve it. There's no reason to do that. We still have that one that it sent us initially when we first went to this page. But if we go to another page like Ninja listing, we're going to get ninjas.js. All right. So each page has its own JavaScript bundle, which controls that page. And it only gets served to us once we navigate to that page for the first time. Now, when you build your Next app for production, Next is also going to prefetch any code in the background that might be needed when the user clicks on a link from another page. And it does this by looking at all of the link components like these things right here on the current page. And it prefetches the code for any of those pages that those links navigate to. So when a user clicks one, the code for that page is ready and waiting. So all in all, it makes for a very, very quick user 
experience.